Pizza Babe along with we on the way guys we on the way to where are we going we're going to mom's house and we're going to take her some bottles because she bought her all these water bottles we saved them for her and i'm going to get my hair done but from yesterday i am waiting on dhl to bring a package yes and they said they were gonna call me and they never did. So now today, they called me this morning after I called them yesterday, getting frustrated, waiting on them. And they said they were gonna come today. So now they called me this morning, said they're coming and I'm still waiting. It's almost afternoon now. So I can't sit here and wait anymore for DHL. Yeah. So you call them what they said. They said what? The driver is going to come. He's on the way. He's he's getting there. Okay. Uh, give me an ETA estimated time of arrival. Oh, he's going to come when he you know he's going to come he's going to call me when he he's close. So there's no estimated time. Nope. So I'm leaving the house. I can't sit here and wait another day on DHL. So guys, see you in a little bit. I'm heading to go do my hair. See, see. They know we're leaving the house. They always come to the window when we're leaving. <laughs> Puss. 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 Ebony. Say hi to YouTube. Hello, YouTube. Puss. Say hi. This cat has character. Say hi, Puss. She is. This cat, yeah, uh, he has this cat spoiled from a baby. Nice, I'm going to get the package right now. DHL Ghana. We just arrived. Since morning, they wait our time. They come for 437. Even inside in Ghana. How? They can't do nothing in this by this time. So they just arrived. Oh wow, guys, you got the package. Yes, the baby coming. She got the package nice. The long awaited surprise from the USA is here. DHL yeah, took DHL. forever yeah, here in Ghana. So, guys, <laughs> we want voices and box later for you guys. And boxing right later. We are in our junction. This is still good. Still good junction. Let's tell them something. Oh, it's just been a long process, but it took what three days to get to Ghana, and it took about five days. <laughs> no, it, about seven, eight days. <laughs> it got to Ghana in last Monday, and yeah. today is Tuesday. Yeah. That's how long it took Ghana to clear my package and bring my package to me. So, anyway, it's here and we'll unbox it later. Alright. So, guys, see you. Hello, YouTube. I am Kinja Babe and this is. And we are here today to unbox a package that we got from one of our special subscribers in the USA. She um, saw that we was in need and she decided to send us a package. So, thank the special subscriber. She wanted to remain anonymous. So, but before we unbox the package, I just want to say, okay, it's not easy getting packages from outside of Africa, from the USA, UK, wherever you um receiving a package from 
Yep, maybe maybe the other other countries will be different. What we know, what we're going to talk about it. Yeah. And right now, what we know is U.S. Yes, we receive a package from the U.S. and what happens? Our and this experience. Person, this person has been working as, let's say, from the beginning to now. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So she she saw us struggling with this camera, going to more here and there. We are not getting it here. So this person is here and decided to help us. Yes. So our experience. Once the person shipped the package from the US, it gets here. It gets here like in three to four days. Our package got to Africa, to Ghana in three to four days. But the um, next day or the day after, I think, they call us and said our package is in Ghana, but it's uh, being held by customs and you will have to pay DHL uh, agent clearance fee if you want DHL to get your package clear. Or you could come to Accra and come to their customs office and pay still the agent's clearance fee yeah, you have to, pay. Uh, to DHL for them to help you clear your package. But then the person proceeded to say, if you come to Accra, there is people out there that hustle you to try to get your package clear for you. This is a big yeah, thing here they in are Ghana. Also there working. Yeah. When you get there, they're going to tell you, I'm agent, I want to clear for you. They want to go through the customs. Yeah, they, yeah, they'll yeah. hustle you for money, you know? Just like anything else here in Ghana, you know? Yeah, let's say they hustle you for money, but it's, it's also their work here. Yeah. yeah. So, but they're not, but after paying the agent fee to DHL to clear your package, why would you still want to pay someone else? It's a big, uh, it's a big, uh, what you call it? Yeah, it is what it is. Ghana. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's Ghana. So, anyway, so we, I, I decided I'm not going to Accra, I'm not going in that traffic. I'm not going to deal with these custom agents and people wanting extra money from me. I'm not going to, you know, spend that extra gas because I already have to pay 300 CDs to the DHL custom agent. Then I still had to pay duty. So after I paid, I called um, the I called him back the next day after I made my decision. So how much did it cost you from the custom fee? The the agent fee, the DHL agent fee to clear the package was three hundred CDs. <laughs> then I I had to email them and tell them I paid the momo the copy of the momo that I paid the 300 CDs to verify that I paid and then they were going to handle the clearance to the customs right yes so after um they got that email then they proceeded with the clearance the custom clearance and then once they um started the process i got a confirmation email that my package was being um cleared by customs and i would have a uh, um, duty um sheet worksheet of what i owe for duty yes so then i think the next day i got the email from dhl saying that i have the um the do the the duty charges the duty charges came back. Da 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 da, da. Uh -huh. two thousand five hundred CDs <laughs> for this package. So you, this is why electronics and stuff cost so much in Ghana. The duty, man, it's a racket that they have going on there. Corruption, corruption from the time your package arrived here in Ghana. 
So I don't understand why Ghana is charging you know they invite people to come to the country they have tourists coming in here they have people come in and repatriate them back to ghana getting the u.s dollar into the country they need to ease up on these duty and this customs racket that they have going on because it's not only dhl it's ghana polls you remember yeah, we did, it happened it, did to the same. So it's not it's not my first time it happened to me even the local, if you send some to the local, they charge them. They charge me the same price that they use it to ship it. The same amount. Yes, whatever ticket price is on your um, package yeah. is what duty they're going to charge. So you're they're paying going, double. They're going to open it, especially Ghana Post, they're going to open it. When you, when you and with there, Ghana Post, the thing is, why you would rather do DHL is it's a little safer they won't you know go through your package and steal your stuff sometimes people report that stuff got missing through ghana post so you know that's your decision if you want to take that risk sending your stuff to ghana post and stuff getting stolen yeah, especially when you get there they open it then they tell you oh this this won't cost do you know how much this one cost they they trying to charge you even over that over over more duty. More duty, like the way overcharge. Yeah. yeah. They're trying to overcharge it. So, so whenever they see that, they don't even want to come down. So they just want to take the money. Yes. That's all they know. <laughs> yeah. So anyway, yeah. we are going to do. So that was it. We had uh, agent fee, and we had uh, um, duty, and then. I paid the duty online, they send the app, the, the link where I could pay the duty online and then they would call me when the duty is paid and cleared, when custom released the package back to DHL for transport. So then they call me now, I don't even remember the days. <laughs> this, this is where the problem is. If you, if you continue following them, it will even work because they're going to tell you, oh, tomorrow. Okay, tomorrow when you wake up, you just, especially like you will be there waiting for them. Waiting yeah, for I, call them. I call them. I call them. They told me, oh, they're going to, it's going to be on the next, your, your package is cleared, but it's going to be on the next truck out tomorrow, Monday, because yeah. it was Friday when I called. I remember clearly now. It was Friday and they don't deliver. They said, no, it was Thursday. And they Wednesday said, tomorrow day. your package is going to be probably released to us because it's clear but um, it might not get to the delivery truck on time so they probably would deliver it on Monday <laughs> wow they called them Monday they said he's going to come on Monday Monday morning I called them bright and early I called them like nine o'clock mm -hmm. you know and they said to find out that my package is on the way he said, well, what's my address? I gave him my address, my location. He said they have the address, but they need the location, the exact like area. And um, he said, oh yeah, the, the driver is gonna call you. The driver is gonna call you. <laughs> we waited, we waited, we waited. I finally decided, okay, I'm gonna call him. They said, oh, your package is still here in the office. I was like, so why did he tell me the driver is going to call me when they're on the way, when they're getting close? I was like, really? I sat here all day. Now I'm frustrated now. <laughs> because we could have been doing something, you know? Yeah, and then we, um, so then we, <laughs> they said, oh, okay, tomorrow, see that, see tomorrow. That. Say hi, say hi to the Say hi, hi Puss. Hey. Puss, say hi. So, now we are going, waiting today now, which is Tuesday. The package been here since Monday. And they said, early first thing in the morning, you know, and then they called me like, 8 30 or something like that they said okay they come in today they come in on the way mm -hmm. <laughs> and he's going to call me he has to go to um Winneba. Winneba. Yeah. and Winneba is far so
So I'm expecting them, okay, they come in this way, you know. We waited, we waited, and we was gonna go out. We said we wasn't going to wait all day. And then we decided to stay home, and they just recently called us about four o'clock since morning. <laughs> well, hey, I, I even say, say that time they got 437. 437, wow. yeah, is when we got the package. So, anyway, enough about DHL and uh, shipping here. Yeah. Now it's time for the fun stuff, guys. Are you ready to unbox? So, yeah. let's see what we got here. Let's take your time. Sorry guys, our phone cut off, the storage was full, but hopefully after receiving our gift, mm -hmm. we won't have that issue anymore because yeah. Yeah. Wow. it's a GoPro wow. guys, GoPro camera and yeah, this one is what, is it a 12? GoPro, it should be at 11. 11 pro okay. pro hero 11 yeah. then a adapter a high speed digital card reader yes. uh it came all this came in a package with the gopro guys 64 gig, 64 gig wow. of space wow. that's, that's good then the accessory pack Wait, we have something else. We have something else. As you remember, guys, if you watch my previous videos, we couldn't find any uh, card reader here in Ghana. This is why our subscriber reached out to us. So, ta -da! A card reader that you could use on, can you guys see that? You could use it on any um, device. USB, iPhone, and Type C. So now we have a card reader. So now I could get my drone footage because we have drone footage that we couldn't get off the camera. We didn't have no card yeah, reader. Right. The camera wasn't working. We had all these issues. So there's other stuff that came with the GoPro. You want to open the GoPro while I look at the other stuff? Okay. Let's see if the GoPro is in there. Nice. Because the package looked like it was open, guys. Let's hope the, <laughs> let's hope the camera is in there. <laughs> it looked like it was open. It's there. <laughs> the GoPro 11, Hero 11, it's there with the accessory pack oh so sure, 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 yes, yes. accessory pack okay. so all the gadgets i'm not gonna go through all this but as you can see all the pieces that goes with the camera is here this is important when we drive in the suction that goes onto the car this one is the floatable attachment, so when you're going swimming or it doesn't fall in water, this is like the floatable, um, you call this, hand, hand stick, I don't know what it's called. So this one, this one is the guy. Yeah, the, the, the guy. Yeah. All these little pieces, it comes with all these little things, guys. All these attachments. So that's what's in here. So we should take it right now. You could take it out and show the people. Guys, this is the camera, right? Yeah. And then you Guys, can take I didn't know this is, this is my first time experiencing this, so that's your first time seeing a GoPro? Mm-hmm. Did you know I've it was that small? 
I don't even know that it's small like that. I think it's. I know camera is this is supposed to be big, but yes, yes. this one is a tripod stick. Oh. Tripod. So that's the accessory pack. Um, it's a lot of pieces. I don't want to lose all the pieces I now. Think this one is battery. There's another tripod. Yeah, a it selfie is stick. This one is it a is selfie. Right. It comes with an extra battery. Oh, that's the. It comes with an extra battery, right? This one is more. Is there a battery inside? Open it, see if there's a battery inside. Let's take the paper off. GoPro Hero 11. GoPro Hero 11, I think it is. Okay. Where the battery goes. The first thing is this one. That's the power button. Guys, we have to look at the menu. <laughs> okay, this is new to you pull it. Oh, so there's no battery in it. So it's supposed to come with an extra battery, right? In this case. That's the to hold the attachments. Show them where the attachments go. So that's where you put all the pieces together, attach it to the camera. Mm -hmm. So guys, we have a lot of reading and I don't see the battery. It's supposed to come with an extra battery. Oh, it came with two um, scan discs. Yeah, the scan discs they need to go. Inside. Oh, that one came in the camera. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, guys, thank you to our special subscriber. Um, okay. okay, yes, yeah, yeah. So we only have one battery, that's not good. I thought it came with an extra battery. But anyway, hopefully we could make more content and better content now that we so guys sorry about that. We ran out of space again. Hopefully, you know, all this show them shadow all this camera accessory pack. Everything here will take care so guys, of the, that. This is the HD card. So I'm going to put the HD card in. So we have 264 gigs of um, storage. So hopefully, you know, we won't be running out of space. Thank you, thank you, thank you, subscriber. Mm -hmm. Very much for doing this for us. And the card reader so we could edit our videos and get our drone footage because we're missing some drone footage and a lot of our videos because we didn't have this so that's what was really important this is why we was at the mall and we were looking for the right stuff and this you cannot find no place in Ghana I didn't even, we didn't check circle and if we go circle we went it might not even last because circle don't have the real stuff. So anyway guys we have to wrap this video up. It's getting to be too long and we don't have the storage space on the phone. So guys, thank you for watching. If you send in anything to Ghana, remember custom agent and duty is very high so be careful shipping anything to ghana yeah. so thank you guys for watching
and hopefully we bring you some more and better content see you guys in the next video what a big thank you to that one subscriber uh, we really appreciate what you do yeah. yes we really 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 do thank you no, so it's much not everybody that you can Thank you guys. Thank you so much. Much love. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. Help me on the road to 5k guys. I'm on the road to 5k subscribers. And stay tuned for our building project. We back at the site tomorrow. We back at the site tomorrow. Hopefully with this new camera and SD card, we could bring you some nice drone footage and some nice videos. So if you haven't subscribed, subscribe. I know you guys are watching. I know you guys are watching, okay? So please subscribe to the channel, like it. You watch it, like it. If you like our content, please give us the thumbs up so we could get out into the algorithm. We truly appreciate it. We want to continue bringing you content and completing my project here. It would help support us if you want to support it anyway. Thank you. We really appreciate you guys. Love you. Peace out. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.